residents of Keta in the Volta region are calling on government to turn the misfortunes of the sea and the Keta lagoon as brought on them by eroding portions of their buildings into uh, fortunes. Residents say the government would make profitable uh, use of the lake and the sea instead of allowing it to destroy their property. Anochibia um, Ajoa Sewa has some report on this. Several buildings have been submerged by the Volta Lake and the Ravaging Sea. Others have been swallowed up completely by the water and are on the verge of collapse. Residents say all the buildings would be wiped out if nothing is done about their plight. This church, where service was in session at the time of our visits, would obviously not be spared by the ferocious waves. <laughs> Some residents spoke to the news team. How often uh, does it take over the street? Uh, at times it takes about uh, this uh, two weeks, two weeks, one month, uh -huh. not more than one month. Actually, we need the government to come and develop these areas. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we need the government to come and develop this. If it is fish pond, okay, we can think we can, it can help, surely help us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a uh, an unlimited stock of fish, our animal. Up a real tilapia, you get it here. Mm. And the, the lobsters, you get it from here. And there are so much you can get crab, you get it from here. So if we can, it can be developed, you, you can have all year round fishing mm -hmm. and you can make a lot of money from here.